Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Crescent's Locking Flex Ratcheting Adjustable Wrench. And they cram enough adjectives in there. Uh, so it's, it's a, you know, your standard adjustable wrench. Uh, in the addition to that, it's got a flex head so you can get in tighter places. Uh, it's got a, what they call a ratcheting feature, which is really more like a jaws slip open when you turn it the other way feature. So we'll take a closer look at how it works and I'll actually take this apart and look at all the internal components uh, and see that they're all actually made out of metal. Alright, so here's the wrench up close. Uh, it's got this little locking cam uh, and it's got nine different positions along here that it'll lock. It won't lock. It says it's got 180 degree, 180 degree movement. It does, but it won't lock here um, because uh, this cam actually can't engage when the, the head is right there, so it needs a little bit of space. Um, so it's got nine positions between uh, close to 180, but not quite 180. It's one click off. Uh, those are your extremes. So if you're really trying to get into an area where the, the whole handle won't fit, you've got that option. And right here we've got inch markings uh, with your quarter inch called out. And you've got, let's see, this is four divisions, so that's sixteenths of an inch. Uh, and then the, on the other side you've got millimeters called out up to 30 millimeters. Uh, the maximum jaw opening width is one and three sixteenths for this. Uh, and then it goes all the way down to closed, obviously. Um, you've got three threads. On the adjusting mechanism, uh, there is a little bit of play here. Um, there's not a ton. And then with the ratcheting mechanism, what happens is when you turn it this way, um, this handle is spring-loaded and pops up. And if you have pressure on the jaws, this little slider pops down out of that. You can see it's no longer bound by uh, this section on the handle. And this slips around the head and then pops back in. So it's not a true ratchet. It's kind of got a ratcheting function, but you've only got, you know, if you're working with a, a six flat fastener, you've got, what is it, 60 degrees of, of motion, you've got a swing for each one of those, so it's not like a, a fine tooth ratchet where you, you can just get a couple degrees of motion and, you know, keep turning that fastener. You've got to have, you know, most of the, the range of motion that you need to actually put it, you know, take it off and pick it up and put it back down uh, again on your fastener head. Alright, so for our demonstration, we've got an 11 16 inch nut, uh, or bolt, and it's got a T-nut on the back of it holding in place on this board. And go ahead and set the wrench here, and if we want to tighten it, go ahead and turn. You can see there's quite a bit of play in these jaws, and that's because this, this little locking mechanism is spring-loaded, so it gets pushed down. Uh, so we turn. And to ratchet, we just go back, and as you see it slips on the jaws around the head. Um, you know, which really could, if you have a crappy fastener, uh, could end up rounding out your fastener, especially with all the play right here. You can see the play in these. These were up tight against the, the fastener when I started. Um, you know, they're adjusted up against it, and there's so much play in it. You've got that, that much play. It's, it's really going to round out a fastener pretty quickly uh, if it's a low-quality fastener. So you can keep turning it, and it'll ratchet. And I found it doesn't always it doesn't always ratchet well. Uh, it doesn't always lock back in easily. So when you turn it, you can see it pop out, and then it pops back in. Sometimes it just if you've got the the wrench body up against something, uh, you know, really up against what you're you're turning it onto, um, it'll it'll kind of catch this, uh, and not not allow it to return back, and then it won't lock in place, uh, and it's it's a little annoying. To take this apart, all you need is a flathead screwdriver and a 2.5mm Allen wrench. The Allen wrench is for the uh, flex handle. You just got a little Allen hole right here. And this spins around and comes out. It's threaded on this other side, on this connector. Come on. Almost there. There we go. And you got to be careful when you pull this out because you've got your, you know, you've got your flex head here that's splines on it. And then this has a little spring. It's a captive spring in the cam. This is an all metal cam. Uh, and then you've got a little teeny spring and a little metal cup for that spring uh, as it slides along the back uh, against the the Y of the handle there. So don't lose that uh, if you ever take this apart. I don't know why you'd really need to. Uh, at the price point on this, I don't think you can actually get spare parts for it. 
Uh, and then down here at the bottom, you know, you just got your standard flathead screw for adjusting this. But unlike your standard adjustable wrench, uh, you've got um, a spring in here for this little follower. I can get that hand tight here. Alright, so this has got a spring to return the jaws to normal, and you've got your screw and your little uh, locking mechanism here, and then your jaw just slides out. Um, so, not, not too complicated of a design, definitely an interesting one. And then you've got one more internal spring here, but these are riveted, so I can't really take that apart without drilling it. Uh, I think it's just a, a slider, you know, a milled groove right here. And, uh, you know, it slides in there, and there's some spring somewhere in there keeping it uh, pushed tight. So once again, as far as operation goes, when you're tightening this, it seems to work okay. It does get a bit of slop if you don't tighten it down every time. Uh, it's not a ton more than a regular um, adjustable wrench, a uh, cheap one. Um, you know, these always have a little bit of play, but this has a little bit more play just because it's got this little cam or the little locking mechanism right here that's, you know, designed to slide back and forth, which doesn't seem to be sliding back and forth. There we go. Yeah, you just have to have tension. There we go. You have to have tension. Uh, so it's got a little bit of play, and then your screw has a little bit of play, uh, and that adds up quite a bit. Um, so you can see... Earlier when I was tightening this, I didn't have a gap, and now I do, or now I can't even get it on the head. So if I loosen it enough, there we go, if I loosen it enough to get on the head and go to turn it, you can see the angle there I've got is not great. It's about to round over that head. Actually, I think with a little bit more torque it might. Yep, just slipped over it. Um, and that in combination with the ratcheting mechanism like this, this isn't putting a ton of wear on the heads, but it's putting a little bit, uh, the way it does that. Yeah, I'm just rounding it over now, so in between every time I put this on, I'm going to have to tighten it, and then it'll actually stay on. Rounding over fastener heads is a good way to get busted knuckles. Uh, and lots of frustration, so I'd, I really don't think I can recommend this. Uh, you know, with a regular adjustable wrench, you know, it'll still fit on over top of that. And you can see it's got a little bit of play here, but not nearly enough that it's going to be rounding over the fastener. Yeah. Verdict too much play. Um, ratchet isn't fine enough. Sorry guys, maybe next time. So wrapping up, I mean, this wrench really sounds like it's a good concept. Uh, I really wanted to like it. It's just a little awkward to use. Um, and it might be a little bit better if the, the ratcheting action didn't actually slip the jaws off the, the head of the, the fastener you're dealing with. Uh, that and the ratcheting resolution just, just wasn't high enough. So. In my opinion, this is a no-go. Uh, unfortunately, it's a great idea, uh, just not the greatest execution. So hopefully this review was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.